Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now is Jess with the United Way of Kyle Valley. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's always uh, great to have you on the show. And we're talking uh, Volunteer Appreciation Month, which has just started here in April. Absolutely. How is it your favorite month of the year? I mean, <laughs> it's one of those months where it's really awesome and also a little bit stressful, but <laughs> mostly awesome. Oh, good. Do you get an influx of people that want to volunteer this month because of Volunteer Appreciation? Um... You know, actually, I think because we highlight and talk about volunteerism so mm -hmm. much, we see the increase kind of in May, which oh, is okay, good. Of course. That's wonderful. Um, it, but that's kind of the whole point. We're, we're celebrating our volunteers mm -hmm. across the community, individuals that are doing so much to give back. And then, of course, we're also talking about the value and the importance of volunteerism, right? We have agencies in our community that would not be able to do what they do without people giving of their time. And, and that's why we talk so much about how your, your, the gift of your time really is building capacity for other organizations mm -hmm. in our community. And that's why it's so important. And really, I just learned that United Way is a is a sort of collection of all these different agencies across Northeast Kansas. Yeah. And you can volunteer depending on your interests and depending on where you want to put your time, right? Right, absolutely. I mean, when we talk to folks about volunteerism, it's not necessarily, well, uh, we know this job needs to happen, so you should go here. It's more about, well, what do you want to volunteer? Right. Uh, who do you want to volunteer with? What do you want to do? What are your skills and interests? And then we try to align those things with needs in the community. Community. Um, we find that, you know, when we're working with companies and organizations that ask us to help kind of coordinate or organize a, a volunteer opportunity, my first question to them is always, well, what do you want to volunteer, you know, like, mm -hmm. what impact do you want to make? And, um, you know, I think sometimes folks are thrown off by that because they're like, well, I just want to volunteer. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, no you, you, you can tell me decide. where I, like, so I, I think I, I'm like that. I'm like, you know what, sometimes just, I just want to help. Just send me somewhere, <laughs> unleash me. me. <laughs> and I can do that, yeah. right? But I also want to make sure that you are doing impact in the area you want, right? Like, I know you love reading and mm -hmm. books and literacy, right? It's true. So, yeah, we send have me so many, book thing. Yeah, we have so many opportunities that are centered around education, early oh, education. Cool. Uh, uh, the importance of information literacy. So like, w my job is really not just to provide you those opportunities, but provide you opportunities that create lifelong volunteerism in your world. And that's that's the important piece that I think is so important. And of course, we want to celebrate that in yes. April. Yes. And now coming up, you have the uh, Volunteer Expo on April 18th. Yes. So what, what's all that about? Okay, so April 18th from 10 to 2 at Fairlawn Plaza, we're going to have over 50 organizations from Shawnee County um, that are going to be coming to one spot just to talk to you all, right? So if you are are thinking, oh, I want to volunteer, but I just don't really know mm -hmm. what to do, come to Fairlawn on April 18th. It takes about 30 minutes. The average person takes about 30 minutes to kind of walk through the fair and, and connect with folks. But they're going to talk to you about all kinds of different ways that you can volunteer. They'll talk about board leadership. They'll talk about sort of day up. You know, day and time, you know, maybe working at a front desk or helping to stuff envelopes, or maybe they need somebody to do grant writing for them, right? They're going to talk to you about all those volunteer needs on the 18th. So that's super important. Great easy way to meet with a bunch of agencies all at one time um, and then of course you get to meet them in person too mm -hmm. which is cool. Yeah and so someone like you who's not sure where to go can, can get, get yeah, a little get bit a little more, taste. learn the landscape, what's exactly. all going on in the in the area. <laughs> what time is the uh, expo going? 10 to 2. 10 to 2, okay. 10 to 2, so anytime between 10 to 2 you can stop by. You don't necessarily need to be there for that whole time, right? Sometimes that, oh I have to be there for four hours, no, no, no. no. Just <laughs> right? pop in half it's an, an hour expo, right? About and 30 minutes is what we tell afterward. folks. Yeah. Exactly. And now also speaking about volunteers, some changes are coming your way. Uh, your website for the volunteer kind of network is changing. What's, yes. What's the consolidation here, I right. believe? Right. So um, most folks know that United Way um, has been merging. Um, and so we have expanded our service area, right? So we um, have been servicing Jackson, Jefferson, and Shawnee County for a long time. Um, and now we are supporting Douglas County as well. And one one of the things that we have kind of been doing with the merger is combining some technologies and Douglas County and Shawnee County um, had a similar tool that was helping to monitor, track, and match people for volunteering. We're merging that together. Great. It's going to be a full rebrand, right? Because 
we have a really big service area yes. and topeka volunteers.org which is what it is currently um doesn't really <laughs> doesn't necessarily fit yes. <laughs> with our whole service mm -hmm. area anymore so um caw valley volunteers is what we've changed the url um of course you know, if you remember Topeka Volunteers and you type that in for a little bit, it's still going <laughs> to redirect. Send you right there. Perfect. <laughs> it'll no it'll redirect. Um, if you're in Douglas County and you type in uh, volunteerdouglascounty.org, it's going to redirect to callvalleyvolunteers.org too. But we are so excited because bringing these two systems together is increasing our volunteer pool. We're going to have around 8,000 active volunteers in our system. So for our nonprofit partners listening, great opportunity mm -hmm. for yes. you to come on and some, recruit some volunteers if you have volunteer needs. Um, but also, we're bringing in probably an additional 100 agencies wow. that service not just Shawnee County, not just Douglas County, but most of them actually service all four counties that of we course, serve. we're all connected. So yeah. um, we're excited because it's not just about expanding to Douglas County, right? It's about expanding to all of our service area. And so we're doing outreach now in Jackson County and they we have um, companies and organizations that are using the system to engage volunteers in Jackson County. Of course, we're going to be doing lots of work in, in Douglas County. And um, we're even starting to do some work in Jefferson County too, to kind of talk a little bit about what kind of programs can we bring into Jefferson County? How can we support them with volunteers? How can we um, make sure that they have the resources they need to also be successful. A lot of the agencies that we partner with are supporting Jefferson County already, right? And we just want to be a part of that support um, beyond just grant dollars, um, That's but, huge. but also through volunteerism as well. So we're just really excited. CawValleyVolunteers.org. If you don't have an account, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's free for you as users to use, to explore and kind of figure out maybe how you can volunteer in the community. It's also free for our um, partner agencies that are interested in recruiting volunteers. Um, and it's a relatively simple um, system to use, right? I tell folks, if you can create a Facebook account or a social media <laughs> account, you can probably create a volunteer Dude, account. That's it's easy, easy to use. Easy peasy. <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys have a great year coming up with a whole, a whole new network. Very exciting to check out and you know help out the community a little bit more. Yes, yeah. so exciting. We just want to thank the volunteers in our community because we can't do it without you. Wonderful. So. All right, Jess, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, everybody, to learn more, you can visit uh, uwcawvalley.org.